All right, next up, we're going to talk about The First Ascendant or Destiny 2. We've had some time in First Ascendant, got a, about five, six, eight hours, something like that. Y'all been streaming it without me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I played with y'all last oh, yes. time. Yeah, yeah, we're about, yeah we're we stream a little bit, yeah. We stream a good yeah. bit. Yeah. We stream. And we stream. Uh, because of The First Ascendant, it's so much like Destiny, we, some of us have decided to jump back into it, like me. I have decided to jump back into Destiny. And me. Uh, you've been talking about it. So I've been talking about it. Come on, man. Come so play Destiny I, with us. I know. I was going to jump into it, but then, then this game came out. And I even told Brett on the stream. I was just like, I had the urge to play Destiny 2 again for some odd reason. Because it's like a, a while fix. ago, actually. Yeah, it's like a fix. You know, you're just yeah, like, oh, yeah. God, it feels so good. You know, it's like World of Warcraft. But then uh, the first Descendant. That. <laughs> for me, for me. <laughs> the first Descendant came out. And we started playing it. And I was really enjoying myself for a little bit. For a little bit. For two streams. So that's it. I, I'm still thinking about going back to Destiny if you want me to be honest. <laughs> they just need to make a Destiny 3 so I can just like that would be nice. Start over from scratch. See, I think y'all should just join one team with me instead. You know, that's Damn just it, uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So uh yeah, first to send it. Let's talk about that for a little bit. Yeah. So what so we 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 have talked about it last time, but now it's like we played more, uh, we've gotten more into it. I think the biggest thing for me is like realizing like what the end game actually is, which is like mostly those void intercept battles, those big boss people, and then like repeating patrol missions over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if there's much else that I've discovered there potentially being there. We obviously haven't hit end game yet, but like I've watched videos on this and even watched the actual developers themselves talking about the end game. And basically, that's kind of what the end game is going to be. Yeah. Um, Okay. So. The more I've played it, the more I've been like, the the leveling the is like. good. But yes, the less I like it because it's I like, like it the there's tons of guns that drop that feels good. The systems are very confusing. Like the modding whole system is like there's they're all so similar to each other that I'm just like I don't want to read all this shit figured out. So I started doing what you guys said. It was like equip recommended stuff. Yep. But then when I go to like dismantle and or chain, like I don't even understand half that system either. It's just like. <laughs> So much of that systems is so weird. On systems on systems on systems. Yes. Well, I you, said you it, go to the main hub world yeah. and there's just text filling your screen yeah. with icons in places. And mm-hmm. luckily, we got in kind of early, so there wasn't like a ridiculous yeah. amount. But at this point, I feel like there's a lot more people playing because there is still hype for this game. Yeah. And it's making it a little too much for me. Oh, same, a hundred percent. Like uh, I. That's what turned me off of it because, like, I want to get into the action. I don't want to go back to the hub and go rehash because the the drops are good. Drops are great. I'm constantly just rotating out. But right now I'm just looking at numbers, and that's it. And yes, yes. and I don't even read anything else. It's just they throw so much stuff that did well in other games, mm-hmm. but they threw it all at us at once. So, like, with the modifications with your hero, with the modifications to your guns, with the modifications, with the modifications on top of the modifications, and then leveling up your character as well. It was just a lot. And then another thing that turned me off was that I thought you can play, you can unlock descendants as you progress. And I thought the first three that you got, you can switch out between those three. That is not the case. You can only play as that one descendant that you selected. So you play as that one, and the rest of them you either had to purchase them or unlock them with purchase upgrades so i was i'm, I'm purchase really purchase upgrades because right. no, you, uh, you can research the items you can you research the items you need to research them which yeah. takes time time could be a day or more in some cases but it's also you have to collect all the materials for them which right. are scattered around the world yeah um, an article or a video just came out that said um, someone just unlocked all of the characters without paying for them, and it took him 200 hours Jesus. to play the game. So to you don't unlock have to all pay the characters. You don't have to pay no, for them. No, but you have to do, do research. It. But that's like a you either pay like, 200 bucks or you pay 200 hours. That's, <laughs> that's kind of annoying because I thought like in the beginning these were the three characters that you can select were your standard ones, and you can switch through them. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like a hero shooter kind of like thing. A hero like I th- thought it'd be more tied to that. What if no. I what if I picked this character and I didn't fucking like her? I was like, oh, I should have went to the other one. No, nope, yeah. can't. Too late. Too yeah. late. They make it sound like you can, yeah, but they make it's it sound not. Like you can. It's not as easy, and that's the for me the biggest negative on the first ascendant because I was high on this game during the beta. Same. And this is again why it's like we can't judge a 
a beta by its cover, if you will, you know, like, cause it's like the beta was amazing. It was so fun. And I like had a blast with it, but it was also two and a half years ago and they didn't have any of the microtransaction bullshit in it yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now they have it in here and it's like the game, the game is like, whereas like when I was playing once human, I feel like the microtransactions were like secondary to the overall game and progression. And this one, it's like, if you really want to see some really strong, powerful progression here, or like really get the stuff that you want, which is the new characters and new weapons and new whatever you need to buy shit or you just like grind and grind and grind. And after a, a bit of playing this, it's like we went to a new map area and it's it's cool. It's visually very nice. And it's very different. It was, had a nice, like, different look to it. We've been to three different areas now. And, like, they're all very pretty varied, but it's like you you get to an area, you go talk to a guy or a girl, you do three patrol missions that are basically just, like, go shoot people or defend an area or drop in some materials into a container. And then you then go to the next area and do some more of that. Next area, do some more of that. And then fight a big boss and then go rinse and repeat over again. Yeah, you do, like, a strike type mission yeah. yeah, or a vanguard mission. But for some it, reason, Destiny. it just feels yeah. way more repetitive in this than it would in Destiny. Well, I feel like on one hand, they, they took everything and kind of condensed it, Yeah, which can be nice. Like yeah. the areas are way smaller than in Destiny. I like, yeah. Because in Destiny, obviously you need to get on your bike and fly around. Well, I like that you can just like teleport to those regions that and you too. don't have yeah. much to walk Every little around. area yeah. has a teleportation yeah. ability to like get there quick. And then you just use your zip line to get around really quick. Yeah. Too. So it's like, okay, you can have a little fun doing some verticality stuff. I always forget that the zip line exists when I talk about it. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, the zip line. That's like a big <laughs> thing. I use it like I know. on stop. Yeah. To get, yeah. I, I use it all the time. It just it doesn't I just don't think about it. Like Right, right. And so I like I, I I appreciate that, but at the same time, like looking at Destiny, I do like that the world is big and expansive. Like I like the ability that I can get on my bike and zoom around and go to, to different for. places yeah okay. well some of them you have to pay for <laughs> get them in the battle pass since they have that or you can get some off twitch which i have been doing actually yeah um but yeah yeah um i still like i was trying to pay attention to the story at the beginning on the first tenant and now oh, like no, the story just, is just bad it's so bad it's and so i don't know what's worse destiny 2 or this well no destiny, destiny 2, 2 is, is way like, better like way better, better storyline, but really. So for Destiny Two, it's like I'm trying to get into the story, but it sucks. And this one's like I just don't even care. So I feel like, like half the I time, blow it off. You <laughs> first when, send it. with any multiplayer game, you don't get into the story at all. You just fucking yeah, you just ignore everything. You you ignore everything. <laughs> okay, which games? Every game, <laughs> every game. That's why you ruined Baldur's Gate Three for me because I was watching a cutscene and what? you fucking attacked the lady, and I'm like, <laughs> no, don't do this. <laughs> no, not like this. Not like this, Austin. What happened? Sorry, I, I hit her. She's a bad person i'm like i don't know that no yeah that was my bad <laughs> you, you, you do skip story a lot in the game these multiplayer games awesome yeah, multiplayer <laughs> games you you especially with like a shooter is oh definitely a shooter nothing nothing <laughs> see <laughs> yeah like, i just want to shoot some people you just want to shoot Damn some it. people uh, which i'm the same way you know i want to like go in or shoot and i think with <laughs> destiny it was easier for me to do that with the first descent, it's a little bit harder because the story is so like a pivotal point yeah, in the it's game. More prevalent yeah, than up front. And like like going back to the main hub, you have to talk to three different people and it just builds on the story and the story. And I love story. But just sitting there watching someone stand there and talk to me without any movement, just like this the whole time, with your hands on their hips, just hooked up. Sounds like follow. I'm like, why? So I guess that's another point towards Destiny because a lot of times you're on your bike going from one location to the next Mm -hmm. and you're having radio chatter. So, like, people are talking to you. You're not just standing still watching, like, someone. Unless it's a cutscene, but that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not just sitting there listening to somebody. Well, they do that sometimes. That's the problem. In Destiny, they'll have, like... Well, no, no. Yeah, no, in Destiny, there's times where, like, you sit there and just, like, talk to somebody and they're just, like, a talking head. Like, when you're at the tower... You know, you're talking to somebody and they're giving you dialogue and they're just like standing there. I mean, they first ascendant copied that where it's just oh, like yeah, 100%. person here, like text wall text here, a wall. button here, and it's just like they say stuff, but the text is like right there on the screen or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So like that stuff, it's like it's not a big deal. But I think I think Destiny overall has a better had a better. It's it's a it was a dumb start of a story, but I think they've done a good job at like bringing that arc all around. Like I bought those grimoire books and stuff like that. And I was like, there's some really interesting lore in there mm-hmm. that I appreciate. And this one just 
it feels like it basically was like the same kind of idea. You have the big bad, you have the traveler, which in this is called the guide. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. like just a very similar approach, but there's the narrative, like the characters don't feel cool to me or interesting or they don't like, like uh, Zavala in um, Destiny is such, does such a good job delivering that, those lines and like, you know, yes. all the different characters that are in there. I mean, Kate, obviously it was like, a standout with uh, what's his face? I can't remember his name now, but um, uh, uh, guy Nathan from Fillion. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So it's like there is like really good delivery of those lines, and like the moment to moment was funny and fun, and but serious, and like there was a lot of good stuff happening there. This, it's like it, it for the the first cut scene, I was like, okay, sure, Bunny's kind of silly, a little too silly in the situation that we're in right now, and then you get further down into it and then all of a sudden you see all these other characters and I'm like, okay, I don't really care about any of these people right now. And like the, the, the dude that's the leader there, I forgot his name, but he's like, I don't trust the guide and I will never trust the guy. Well, now let's trust the guide a little bit. Nah, I still don't trust it. It's just like this, none of it really flows clears and it's, yeah, it doesn't flow very well. Um, and it's just the microtransaction stuff is just so over the top and over like top. all the shit you got to unlock and stuff like that. I'm just like, I don't want to sit here and play like, again, going back to Once Human because I want to compare that right now because they're too free to play games. It's like, I want to feel like I'm getting something out of my time here. And the first Ascendant, I do feel like I'm getting a bunch of stuff, but it's nothing substantial to me. It's just like There's numbers a lot of increasing. inventory management. Not that you have to do a lot of inventory management. Yeah. But it's hey, like, oh, I got, to. A, I got a shit ton of guns. Let me take a look. And yeah. It's like, oh, nothing I can use here. Might as well just delete all this. Let yeah. me go check them out. Because every time you fight an enemy or do a mission, you get a bunch of junk. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, what's better here now? And, and you have to go in and take a look. Yeah. I mean, luckily, the auto thing really saves a lot of time. Right. Like, yeah. No thinking. And that's exactly what I want to do. Just let me kill people. I just feel like it's... it's. I know Destiny... For some reason, when I played Destiny, I didn't feel like it was repetitive for me. Yeah, but for this game, I don't know what it is. It, it's exact, it's almost exactly the same, but it's it feels repetitive, right? You're doing the same mission over and over again. Like, not to say that Destiny doesn't have that, but it's always but it's, it's always it it's just a, either think, hold the point, kill the enemies, or take the thing to the bin so yeah, you can get out of here. I At think every different map we've played. Yeah, and I think Destiny is really good at most of the missions that you play. That's the environments that tell the story a lot. Yeah. And like, you're not like you have the patrol missions in the open space where you just mm-hmm. go and to go to point A and point B. But this game centers around the patrol missions, whereas destiny like has a lot of missions, especially in the DLC stories or the main storyline where it's like, like the main storyline of this game is doing all the patrol missions, which is weird. And destiny Two, you, you play the story and you're going through these different areas and you're going through these deep, dark caverns and like, you open up this room and there's like this big, huge, beautiful expanse of like old world, whatever the fuck it is. And just like, there's always stuff to look at and just be like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. You know, there's like awe inspiring stuff there. It's like the first intro level to the first shape. It's like, you're going through this, this other world. That's like another version of the lost city or whatever. And there's like all this weird shit. That's like the the platform through. Yeah. You're in the travel. That's right. Yeah. And it's like, you're having to like go through all this, this platforming stuff to get around different areas. And it's just like visually very interesting. Yes. Whereas this is just like, go to this point, fight off a bunch of bad guys, go to this point, fight off a bunch of bad guys. You're not seeing anything new. Your ghost yeah. is talking to you, but you're also doing something along the way. So you're not just sitting there listening. Yeah. Or having it look, but yeah, no cutscene. But. So I don't know what mission I was playing, but I jumped in for the first time and was doing a mission. I forgot which planet, but I had to attack these people and get this orb of energy. Actually, I was defending this area, I guess. Uh, Enemies were coming at me. I'd kill them. They dropped this one thing, and it was like a ball. So I'd use this ball, so this is different, um, to shoot at a mirror, which would reflect this light and shoot into different um, circular objects. Hmm. And it would unlock an aspect of this lock that that I needed to open. That's Destiny? Yeah, it's Destiny. I was like, wow, this is different. It's very similar to other things, but it's different. <clears throat> it's new to me, and it's something I haven't done before. So I was like, this is interesting. Yeah. Well, I come to find out that this orb that could shoot light could also damage the enemies, but it had mm. a charge, so I could use it mm-hmm. to destroy some enemies and potentially waste it and use it for, and have to wait for another wave of enemies. Yeah. 
uh, or I could just you know use it to unlock stuff. And so I was like, this is interesting. And then I went on a patrol mission, which was I had a similar thing. And I was like, okay, this is very Destiny. And it's not like I haven't done something like this before, but I felt like the way that they, I was having to interact with the world and do something new was way more interesting and entertaining. Yeah, compared to. Do we have There's any puzzles in the first ascendant at all? Have we played no, any puzzles we have yet? Not, or has it been? Any not that puzzles. I love puzzles, but like, yeah, it's been shooty, have, yeah, shooty this is kind stuff. of like a puzzle mission. We did have anyway. that platforming area. Yeah. Like we had, we had platforming where you had to figure out how to get certain orbs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But all, all three I, of that's us right, were doing yeah. it, and we were able to accomplish it pretty well. But Destiny did well with the, uh, <laughs> with the puzzle system. It yep. with different little things to figure out, but. Yeah. Um, Nothing like too hard to no, figure out, but no. it was just like, oh, cool. Only, only in the dungeons, there was some hard stuff. Yeah. But, um, God, it's just Destiny, like, so many, like, great things happen, especially in Destiny 1, like, doing the raids alone. And I, I don't know if Descendant has raids like that, but doing the raid where My you understanding, to, I don't think so. You had to jump in, it was like a maze of shadows, and you had to run through and, like, hit the light. And, like, it's just little shit like that I fucking love and yeah. that's what's like bringing me back and yeah. wanting to play Destiny again which I am probably going to buy that so I didn't get the new DLC yeah and so jumping in I got to play obviously that first little mission to get you to Cade then it's like oh well if you want to do the next mission you have to obviously yeah. buy the DLC I'm like how am I going to play this for this topic if I don't have the DLC I don't want to buy it right now I mean, I didn't know if you were going to get it. I know you said you wanted to. Yeah. Now you want to. I'm going to get it. So I was like, I don't, I don't want to dish out forty bucks and play this for a week, and, and that's, that's what, it. Yeah, and that's what I told Brett just recently. I was just like, I don't want to dish out money to play this game, but after going to, uh, unfortunately, after playing Descendant and just it, it's, it's a tease, it's a taste of what I used to yeah. do back in the day with Destiny. So do you have a question? Just kind of derailing a little bit, but you guys are about to. We're talking about. Spending forty dollars for a DLC for Destiny, mm. a free to play game. Concord's about to come out for forty dollars with no battle pass, no extra stuff. And how 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 do you justify this versus why is Concord a do you, problem and why is this not? Do you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's familiar. Uh, the gameplay is fun. I mean, I've always loved Destiny shooting mechanics and then having the special abilities that you use. And now, coming back after so long, seeing what they've done to change up your uh, superpowers, uh, your ultimates, like you have trinkets that you can equip to help you up certain aspects of your skills or your stats or you know help you gain your superpowers faster. And I'm like, this is different. And you can switch out things, which you can always I guess, switch out certain things, but now you can switch out more things. I'm like, yeah. oh, Okay, you can really customize now mm -hmm. and yeah. make it your own and really find, not just being like, okay, this is this one. And you always know what this, like if someone has this kind of ability, you know what they can do. Yep. Now it's a little different where it's like, I know the possibilities of what they can do. So I have to actually engage in a person, figure out, and they still might be more powerful, even if I know, eventually find out, that I know the moves that they'd use. To tackle them because I do a lot of I've been doing Crucible and that's how I've been leveling up because that's the only way I can experience anything in Destiny right now without having to buy DLC or going back and playing the old content, old content which I don't yeah. want to play. Mm. Yeah, now how come you don't want to play that? I mean, I've already played it. Oh, okay. Play yeah. It. So I thought you missed stuff you hadn't played yet. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, no, no, no. Saying, yeah. I mean, there is stuff yeah. I could I could go play like there's missions for exotics yeah. I have never completed. Right. But that could be a whole. Whole different thing. world, yeah. And, then, and some of them require you to go into the raids, which I don't have yeah. to go into. So. Yeah. For me, it's, it's a whole different game, if you want me to be honest. I mean, um, Concord is a hero shooter, Valorant style game. This one is more of like, there is story, and it's good story content, as mm -hmm. we know, compared to Destiny 1. I mean, I thought Destiny 1 was an interesting story, but I wasn't yeah. hooked. Yeah. Destiny 2 improved on it a little bit. And just the drops that I get, like it is rare and all that stuff, but the raids alone, communicating as a team yeah. and running in, fighting against something that is obviously extremely strong. And there's a puzzle aspect to it as well sometimes. Yeah. Cause like I can't remember which one it was, what, but someone had to grab a sword to, in order to like stun the enemy. And we had to like, right. And I think that was like Destiny One, the stuff. Yeah. But like, Stuff like that, I remember getting a fucking 
like a high from and yeah. I just missed that high and I thought first ascendant would give that to me but it hasn't yet yeah that makes sense yeah so mainly it's just like it gives you like substance to the story largely that's like feels good and yep. feels valuable which obviously which, although they're trying to put story into Concord they're not really doing that much this uh, one so. with, with first ascendant they are trying their best I'm not hating on this game too much but <laughs> For some reason, whenever I jump into First Descendant and compare it to Destiny 2 back in the day when I was playing it, it didn't feel like there wasn't a lot of substance to it. Yeah. It felt like I was just just shooting and just shooting and just shooting, and it didn't feel, I guess it was possibly the environment or staying in that one location or just something was off, and I didn't get that same feeling. And then on top of that, collecting all those resources and all this other shit... I have no clue what's going on. I'm just like, I, I don't know what any of this is. Turn on first center, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then as for Destiny 2, it's just they how they went about it was a little bit, they eased me into it instead of throwing everything at me at once. Yeah. Yeah, I was, so I, I also jumped back into this and played with Austin a little bit. I played myself a little bit, played through that first mission, the first shape and stuff like that. And it's like, I appreciate that they had a they had a last time on deck. They have a timeline feature in the game now, which I think is kind of cool. Of like, here you can go through and you can play the pivotal mission from each like main DLC. Yeah. Um, if you want to like relive that moment or whatever and stuff like that, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I for me the biggest value of this game versus any of these other first ascended or the Destiny. no Destiny of Destiny over any of these other like looter shooters or honestly free to play based games is they're as complex as this game gets the user interface to me is like top notch oh, in man. here yes they've done such a good and everybody's trying to copy it and like you know re, 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 reiterate it but it's like me going in there and being like okay i want to upgrade my character it's like boom 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 done i'm out of there and it's yeah. like dismantling stuff is like right there in the menu knowing what's better and what's not it's like i feel like i have to like Can sift I, through like data in first ascendant to really understand which understand, one is good yep. and what's not yep. So. I, I gotta mention the one thing is having to come back to the main hub world in First Ascendant to upgrade, like just to level up. Oh yeah, that's kind of that's and then yeah, the, the mastery like, there's yeah. levels, but then there's like mastery, yeah, which is the actual like. I, I guess I don't understand what the difference is. I know they were talking about it in the tutorial stuff. But I was yeah. like, I didn't understand the level of mastery. So mastery your, your normal, come back. yeah, your normal level just levels up wherever you are. But okay. the mastery rank you have to come back for. Yeah, and that's basically just like a character boost overall to add more inventory slots to your whole entire character. So mm. like more points you can put mods into, more storage oh, capacity, more. It just adds more of everything into I gotcha. that. I gotcha. But it's dumb. You have to go back. Like it's it's stupid. Yeah, I don't like that. Destiny is like, oh, like you ranked up or like you leveled up, and there's like this really cool animation they do above your head. There's a symbol that shows yeah. you your level, and there's like sparkle, glowy things, and it's like, ooh, I feel like I did something. I will say they have something in Destiny now that's kind of annoying. Whenever they have a little pop up at the bottom, like the little banner that gives you instructions or tutorials, mm. it like takes up too much of the screen now. And it's like sometimes it's like blocking oh, some the of the stuff. I wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you have I, to actually do it. You have to like press escape or like close it out. Yeah, you go through all the steps and then yeah. you can escape. Sometimes yeah, it one gets was distracting. Stuck, one was stuck on it. And I was like, I need to get past this menu. Yeah. There's something I got to click on. Um, but, but yeah. I mean, like just jumping into the game itself and or in Destiny Two again, like the cutscenes, the environment, character designs, all are like really, really good, and just like night and day difference between the first Descendant. The uh the in the gameplay it's like I mean it's still one of the best shooters like out there you know as far as like how it plays like I love getting the warlock and like jump I I have my little glide ability that lets me like be up in the air a lot so I spend a lot of time up in the air and just like throw fire down at bad guys and stuff like that and it's like it's just it's so gratifying to jump in there and do that stuff and like just very quickly remembering okay I got my healing rift I got my uh, my bash, you know, a super bash, my grenade that I throw out, mm -hmm. my special ability that throws out like ice swords at bad guys and stuff like that. Like all of that just feels really, really good. And in the first descent, it's like the more, the stronger my character gets, the less I feel that's those powers actually Pardon. do anything. Yeah. Like I don't, they don't feel like they're getting better. I, I've just kept the same ones this whole time. Like, oh, I, yeah. I get to switch these out. I think that comes, yeah, that's another thing. I, I think that comes down to all the mods that we picked for your like 
particular mm-hmm. character uh, for that character because I noticed that some of them will do more damage and whatever. Yeah. But yeah. like that's a fucking annoying. Elemental damage. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just like. I don't want. I don't, well, did, did y'all see in there the uh, the buffs you can get for the different equipment you equip? That's based off of if you have like a sniper rifle equipped, it gives you yeah, a bonus gives to you a reactor bonus or whatever. Yeah. And it's like that just gets really complicated. It just yeah. gets convoluted. Which one's the latest Destiny? The first shape. Okay, the final shape. Final shape. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So thirty-seven. Are y'all playing it on PC? I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah. But I, the, I, I think it's crossplay. It is crossplay. That's what I'm debating about. Like, if I should get it on PC. Or if I should get it on PlayStation. Yeah, it's all. I mean, they've they've really done a good job with the cross play, cross progression, all I that think stuff. I'm just like, get on PlayStation because I've I've played it now on PlayStation, mm-hmm. PC, both Game Pass and uh, um, Steam, and it's just like I hadn't played it on Steam yet, so I was yeah. just like, boop boop boop, press a few buttons, and, and this bam, is a all game for some there. reason I'm good with playing by myself. I, I'm oh yeah, I'm happy, mm-hmm. I'm content. I get what I get out of it and keep yeah. going. There's some strike missions that are really hard, apparently. Yeah, but you get you get like bonus rewards if you complete it by yourself, which um, I found that out recently. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I didn't know I'm that. Going to uninstall the first ascendant. Yeah, it might be time. We we knew this was going to happen. We didn't know how long we we're going to be on the first ascendant. Yeah, but every time we play it, we're like, like, oh, let's play Destiny. <laughs> well, like the big thing about it, it goes back to whenever we were playing Destruction All Stars. We were like, let's play Rocket League. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's just the first ascendant. Uh, first impressions were outstanding. I'm not hating on this game for anyone that loves it still to this day. It's just not. It's just. It's just not my game anymore. Yeah, I just. It just brings back great memories of destiny whenever i was playing through it and now i kind of want to play destiny 2 yeah my uh my wrap up is i think that the first descendant can find an audience i think it has found an audience i mean it's doing pretty well on the internet and stuff like that um but they need to pull back on these predatory microtransactions because i feel like it's real bad like there's a lot of shit in there that's just way too much yeah and keep people engaged find ways to vary up the content after the first 50 hours or so so it doesn't feel like a really like it feels grindy already and i haven't even played 10 hours of the game loot drop's great in it loot drop is great super good but destiny like it's as i feel like i always get out of the game and i'm like okay i'm never gonna play destiny again and i i don't like love jumping back into it but at the same time it's like when they do bring out the new story content i do really enjoy myself yeah. kind of like when call of duty drops a new call of duty as much as that shit's like trash tv it's like i kind of enjoy a six hour <laughs> call of duty campaign and like tearing through some stuff you know um they've struggled over the years to keep it from feeling too overwhelming and it's still overwhelming but the presentation moment to moment gameplay is super good the inventory system although there's a lot of shit in there it's like pretty easy to manage now mostly and like i feel like they do a good job at like giving you per progression opportunities until like you get to the point where you need a raid and then it's like okay well i'm done with the game anyway at that point but yeah i'm definitely uninstalling the first descendant today yeah yeah i think so too so on a someone who left a comment on our last first ascendant video uh vampire noble s s is s okay uh the first ascendant is great like final fantasy 14 it uses a solid foundation from renowned games but mixes them well with a good gameplay loot fair drop rates grinds uh with great graphics and sound effects over time it mm-hmm. could it could really take off like final fantasy 14 did in this in its genre you gotta try the bunny once you unlock her she's so fun and great for aoe farming she is fun yeah yeah so, she is fun but i agree it's like it's not you level up each character, so it's like, right. okay, I don't want to go back to her at level one and have to grind through yeah, that grind again. Grind through. Yes. I forgot about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. So I, mean, I guess you do in Destiny too. See, have I to grind. Yeah. But, and it's yeah. just like every, I mean, Destiny has grinding, definitely. And I've complained about that in the past a lot. But you have so many different areas at this point, which is a pro for Destiny. Obviously, it's in the later stage of its life, it has all this content now. First sin it just came out. It has a limited amount of content. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it will grow. But having to grind in those small areas just really doesn't... It just really turns me off. Yeah. Bad. Like, real yeah. bad. And I think I think this is going to find its niche group, but I think it's going to be a small group, at least mm-hmm. in America. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, they're copying a lot of stuff Destiny did, and that's why we keep talking about mm-hmm. Destiny. So, overall... I mean, I'm down to go back to Destiny and put put the first ascendant to rest. Yeah, no, I mean, that was that was gonna be my feeling when we got through this video. It was like, what are we gonna, where are we gonna kind of sit with stuff? But I 
would not care to come back to the first ascendant, but yeah. I'm I'm down to at least go through the final shape and like I would love to do a raid, but we just we just don't have the team to do it. You know, yeah. we don't have. Well, I think people. they have matchmaking for it now. I yeah, they do, but, but I'm just like I'm also nervous of that because I don't want to I don't want somebody to be like this guy fucking sucks, <laughs> and I'm like yeah I know. <laughs> Is I am bad. bad. I told I'm Travis. Sorry, I was like, yeah. "Hey, Travis, get the first ascendant. We'll probably play it at the party." Oh God, no. <laughs> I don't think you got it. And I'm gonna be like, "Hey, get Destiny. <laughs> get once human, man. <laughs> We're yeah, play yeah." It at the party. That's uh, funny. Yeah, well, I'll probably have to keep that. For, yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I just wish Destiny wasn't so big. 138 gigs, man. Dude, it is so much. It is so much. That's why I'm downloading it on my PlayStation. There you go. I'm trying to right now. I just yeah. purchased it. So. Ooh. Oh shit. Okay, Ooh, I guess playing. I gotta buy it. You know. We're playing it. All right. Let's do it. Here first. Now, Destiny so, yeah. 2 wins. Destiny 2 wins out again. The first Descendant. I don't want to go back and like listen to all of our conversations. I remember we've had our ups and Bad downs Destiny. where we've been like, oh, yeah. oh, I love Destiny. Oh, I hate Destiny. Oh, I love it. it. For like a week. But this time, I'm just going to play it. If you guys aren't playing it, I'm playing it. Oh, you should. Well, I'll play it, man. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know. Right. I'll keep it installed. Just play like it. Helldivers, you play, know, play, we'll just jump it. in whenever you want to jump in, you yeah. know? Yep. 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 Maybe it'll be downloaded by the time you get home, and then we can play well, tonight. No, unfortunately, it's not quite fucking working. Ah, no. shit. Did you PlayStation not on? Yeah, PlayStation's not on. Dang it. So let us know how you feel about the first Descendant. If you played it, do you like it better or worse than Destiny? Um, are you still playing Destiny? And if so, um, how are you liking the final shape? Um, I know Lightfall was, apparently was not as good of a DLC, but I... So I kind of want to cool. go back and play it. Yeah, yeah that looks so cool, super but, cool. Yeah, but I heard it wasn't wasn't amazing. But I, I would kind of like to go back just to I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. But um, but yeah, let us know what you think about first send in Destiny two. Which one do you think is a better option to put your time into going forward? And uh, yeah, who's winning the leader shooter game right now? Hey, if you hate Suicide Destiny, Squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I know a lot of you are going to hate on Destiny, and that's fine. Leave that hate in the comments. I want to know your thoughts about it. Why Destiny's so bad?